Rush continues right now with developing news here at home along the shoreline. A community really stunned after a teenager was stabbed to death right outside of school. And this happened last night at the Tuttle Elementary School in East Haven. That's where you find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland. He is live now with the latest. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, within just the past few minutes, East Haven police have identified the victim of last night's stabbing, 15-year-old Dustin Seccarelli of North Branford. Now, neighbors who live here in this East Haven neighborhood, they say for the most part it's quiet. A lot of times kids gather at the school after hours, at the playground, the basketball court. But we're told last night there was some sort of altercation in the courtyard, and sadly, it turned deadly. Now, East Haven police tell us officers were called to Tuttle Elementary School around 6.30 Tuesday evening. What? What's being described as an altercation between several individuals in the school's courtyard. We're told 15 year old Dustin Seccarelli from North Brantford was stabbed in the chest. The teen was rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital where he died from his injuries. Now, while police investigate, they tell us they will provide more details as they become available, but they stress everyone involved in that fight has been identified and accounted for and that there is no public safety threat. For now, just as a precaution, East Haven's mayor says officers will increase their patrols at all the schools, parks, and recreational facilities in town. But for those who live right next to the school, they're still trying to wrap their heads around the this senseless violence. I feel bad for both families. It's a situation that you just don't want to happen. You know, we don't know the whole story, but it's just scary for both their kids and it just shouldn't be happening. Now, police tell us this is an active and ongoing investigation that charges are coming. Meanwhile, neighbors say they've had issue with older teens gathering at the school after hours. You're going to hear from them coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. We're live with the mobile newsroom in East Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Matt,